Addition Phase 4 By the end of this lesson, you should be able to add numbers with up to 4 digits. For example, 3517 plus 396. For this method, you need to put these numbers in columns. So you start off with 3517, then you say plus 396. You must be aware that the 3 actually represents thousands and the 5 represent 500s and the 1 is a 10 and the 7 represent units or 1s. And you also have to draw 2 lines for your answer. Now, you go to the units column first you say 7 plus 6, the answer is 13. And because 13 is 1, 10, and 3 units, you only write the 3 under the units, and you carry over the 1, 10 to the tens column. Now, you say 1 plus 9, you will get 10, but now remember to add the one that you carried over from the units column. That makes it 11. So you have to carry the 1 to the next column, that is the hundreds column. So you then say 5 plus 3, you get 8. Then you add the 1 that you carried from the tens column, that will make it 9. Finally, 3 plus nothing, the answer will be 3. So your answer is 3,913. Well done. Now, good luck with the independent activity. Try your best. Now check your answers for the independent task. The first answer, number one, should be 1,376. Number two, it should be 2,241. Number three, the answer should be 5,690. Number four, the answer is 13,314. Finally, number five, the answer is 13,840. 49. Well done if you got everything right. If you didn't, don't despair. Go back to the example, look carefully at the example, and then go through the independent tasks again. You will finally get it. Now, if you got it, go to the next step. The challenge. Look at the challenge. Remember, place value, write the numbers in the correct places. Now let's look at the answers to the challenge. Number one, the answer should be 18,735. Number two, the answer should be 6,840. Number three, the answer should be 12,326. Number four, the answer should be 12,178. Finally, number five should be 15,968. If you got this right, you are on your way to phase 5. Well done!